Welcome to the Improving Outcomes for English Learners with Disabilities website. Let's hover over our menu to see what populates. We have training modules, training opportunities, resources, newsletter, statewide impact. Today I'll be focusing on resources, newsletter, and statewide impact. Starting with resources, we hover over to the different topics covered from the Practitioner's Guide to its FAQs, EL Roadmap, ELD Standards, ELA, ELD Framework, LPAC, SBAC, Infographics, Padlets, and additional resources. Today we're going to spend some time on the Infographics section of our website. Clicking on the Infographics tab, you will be taken to a page where you will see just that, Infographics. We are starting work on a series of Practitioner's Guide infographics by chapter. So far, we have completed Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 and are currently working on additional ones. Scrolling down, you will find a one-pager describing what the focus of our grant work is, including another infographic with data, and finally, additional infographics to help you navigate some of the resources, including our flagship resource, the California Practitioner's Guide for Educating English Learners with Disabilities. Finally, towards the bottom of the page, you will find our collaboration with Captain EBPs on the alignment of evidence-based practices for English learners and students with autism spectrum disorders. This area is constantly growing, so I invite you to visit us soon. Next, if we move over to the Resources tab, now you can find a Padlet section. In the Padlet section, you will find a compendium of Padlets that range in topics from pre-referral and referral process to reclassification of English learners with disabilities, to distance learners with English learners with disabilities, and assessment of English learners for special education eligibility. All of these Padlets are shareable and remakeable. Simply click on them, open them, share them, or make them your own. Returning to our drop-down menu, we continue on over to the Resources tab into Additional Resources. In Additional Resources, you will find some videos that will support your practices, as well as links to other SELPAs in the California Statewide System of Support collaborative partners, and additional websites and places that we visit often and include in our work. Returning to our menu, we will now go over to the newsletter section. When we click on newsletter, you will be directed to a page where you can view our current newsletter, view previous ones, and sign up for future ones. Please visit this page and sign up if you haven't done so already. Returning back to our drop-down menu, now I want to take you to our highlight section. In our highlight section, you'll be witness to some of the work that we're currently working on in collaboration and in efforts to improve outcomes for all learners, including English learners with disabilities. You will find our participation in the EDND podcast, our Bright Spots podcast, and a link to the California Practitioner's Guide through the CDE English Learners with Disabilities website, and a highlight article. This area is constantly being updated, so visit us often. Finally, under Statewide Impact, you will be able to interact with a map that outlines the geographic lead agencies in the state of California. By clicking on the geographic lead agencies, you will be able to see where we have been. For example, if I click on the Southern California System of Support, I recognize Imperial County, Orange County, Riverside, San Bernardino, and San Diego. By expanding the accordion, I'm able to see the different SELPAs within that county that we have visited or who have sent participants to our PD offerings or opportunities to engage and communicate. We hope that this virtual tour has been helpful to you in navigating our website and newer resources as these become available. We invite you to visit us soon, visit us often, and keep in contact.